Then I'll share a quick story um, regarding the diabetes community. There's a, there's a young boy, Zach, out of Fort Wayne in Indiana. And I was racing at Mid-Ohio. And it was a couple of years after I won there in 2013. We qualified really well. I think we qualified fifth. And going into the race, full of hope and promise. Early in the race, someone hits me, cuts my tire. I spin off. I think I finished one or two laps down, basically lack. And I'm walking back to the truck and the transporter at the end of the race. And I've got my helmet and I can see Zach coming up to me. And, and the only words in my head are four letter words. And I'm like, that's not appropriate to share with this young gentleman. I can't, like, I don't know what I'm going to say. And he didn't get, he didn't let me get a, a word in. And he comes up and he goes, oh man, I can't believe he hit you. How was your blood sugar? <laughs> and it struck me that to him, it didn't matter that I finished where I did. Right. It was a success for me to be out there and competing. And he wanted to know how my health was, what my blood sugar was, how it changed during the race, what he could learn from it. And, and that reminded me of that balance. And, and I will always remember that moment. I mean, it is imprinted permanently in my brain because of how it changed my thoughts about the result instead of the performance.